Hey guys, welcome back. This is Little Fear Fear Fear, and today we are reviewing another product. This one being my first piece of Bachman rolling stock. And so this is a Santa Fe cylindrical grain hopper. And so we're just gonna first take a look at the outside of the box here. It's the front, it's a silver series car. Sides, oop. The back of the box. The other side, which just has this extra label here. Yeah, it just talks about the, how this is not meant for children under a certain age. This, and then here's the tag. And so it's item number 19102. And so it's technically a Canadian cylindrical grain hopper, but let's get it open right now. With this box, there's no extra paperwork, so I'm just gonna set it off to the side right now. Now we're gonna pull out the car from the plastic tray. It is not the best way to keep and store rolling stock, but it's cheaper. So if that makes this end product a little bit cheaper, that's kind of all right with me right now. All right, now let's take a closer look at the details. Starting with the details, you can now see the large Santa Fe in black. It does look very nice, except there are a few little micro scratches or stuff where the gray bleeds through on it. It's just kind of not terribly noticeable on camera because it shows up very black and dark. Then you have the ATSF stuff here and weight capacity, other things like that, other printing. And then the printing over here is a lot smaller and then later I'm gonna take a closer look at the small printing here and then there's also some small printing down below down here. And then there's also some yellow dashes and printing down here. These are words here that say two inch HF comp shoes and do not run the box or not the box, the hopper with the doors open at the bottom. And then the other side, it's pretty much the exact same. I couldn't find any differences between the two, but if you guys do, I'd love to know. And now let's take a closer look at that little box here and that little box down there. First little box down here is very, hard to read and I feel like it's a little bit misaligned with the hopper itself and I actually can't read it with my regular eyesight right now and onto the other box I can actually read this one if it'll actually focus I can read this one actually with my own eyes and now let's move on to the other details all right now taking a look at the top you can see it has this nice little grill effect up here and it does look very nice and fine although it's not fully see-through but that's not too terribly bad for this price point and the loading part is just one solid piece. I think it's just into the molding itself, so it's not separately fitted. The underside has minimal detailing and it has these two giant holes on the bottom. So I believe that is where you can unscrew the body itself. And so then you have your typical Bachman black trucks with their insulated steel wheels. I believe they're steel. And then you have the housings for the EasyMate 2 coupling. And you just have these little two tabs down here. I don't know if these are actually supposed to be here or this is something for the molding itself. I believe that these two things are seam lines. And so down here, there's the little Bachman logo itself. And the, de the details on the wheels are not fully back modeled. So they're only modeled on the front. So I'll try to get that focused for you guys. So it's not the full high level of modeling that you can expect from other things. I think it was a Bowser car that I have has this detailing. And so this was around for the same price point. It was just a little bit smaller, but moving on to the ends themselves, they have this large little hole in them. I don't know exactly what that's for. They also have some nice yellow printing up there and the ladders and the other stuff is a little bit chunky, but I feel like that makes it a lot more sturdy. So it's gonna last you a lot longer in case you drop this. And this side, has all the air brakes as well as the brake wheel. And this looks very fine and very nice. Do you guess the side angle of that? So you can see all the stuff inside of there. That just about sums up all of the details that I could notice. And if there's any other finer ones that you guys notice, I'd love to know. And so now let's move on to performance. All right, now we'll test how free rolling the cards itself by going over the double set of switches here. And so most of my cars can fairly easily roll over the set of two, but I feel like this car is actually a little bit on the more tight side, so it doesn't roll as freely. 
which is kind of interesting because most cars just glide right through this area, but this one just keeps getting st stuck, so I don't know what's up with that. And it's even if I put it just straight forward, it just comes to a stop pretty easily. Which is kind of interesting compared to how free rolling some of my other Walther's cars are. But now let's do a coupling test. For its first test, we're just going to back it up into this Atherin boxcar here. And so I'm just gonna do this by hand. I'll push it in, see where they lock. This one is a little bit higher than the Atherin, but I believe the Atherin is just a little bit lower than most of my other cars. So it's about normal with most of the knuckle coupler cars I have. Now let's couple it up on the other end. On the other end, we have a Proto 2000 Erie built. And so I'm just gonna back that up now and see how well it goes. Caught. There we go. All right, stop it here before we sand it off. They both seem to be fully coupled up and they both seem to be level with each other. So there's no disparity in coupling up. So I think that all went well. Now let's run it around the lap and see if it has any issues on the outer line. Okay, send her off. All right, now let's get some shots of this hopper running around the layout. This is the first video after the lab has been de and so there's less stuff for the hopper to get caught on, and it's still performing fairly well. And it's rolling smoothly and not rocking around too much on the rails, unlike some of my other cars. All right, now let's get this one last shot and then we can try to see if we can park the engine in shot. And then we'll sum up the rest of this video. All right, now let's try to see if we can start the engine in shot with the hopper behind it. Almost. Give it a little pull. There we go. All right, now let's move on to the ratings. Now, moving on to the ratings for performance, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10 for not being too terribly free rolling, but overall, everything else worked fairly well as the couplers worked well and it does not rock too terribly much. But I feel like that not being free rolling brought that down quite a bit there. For detail, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 for being Nice printing detailing and all that stuff, all the molding down here, the text. But then some things are a little bit chunky, like the ladders, they could have been a little bit thinner. And also the grill up top could have been fully see-through and modeled, as well as the backs of the wheels or the insides of them could have been fully modeled as well. But besides from that, there's a really good detail. For quality, I gave it a nine out of 10. For some of the little bits of gray that bled through on the black here, it never really showed up cross on camera, but it wasn't really dust. I tried to brush it up away when the camera was off, but that was kind of a little bit interesting. And then that also includes the little bit of holes that were on either end of the car itself. So that just kind of brought it down a little bit because that did not look accurate to the actual hopper itself in reality. For value, I gave it a seven out of 10. For 30 bucks, this one's not terribly bad. But I feel like just some of the weird things with the printing definitely could have been fixed a little bit and the free rolling kind of brought this down a little bit too because I felt that for this price, I've gotten some pretty good other bits of rolling stock in the past which have had more accurate couplers or more accurate wheels or sometimes even, you know, the better finer printing. So overall that gives this an eight out of 10 for the price that I picked it up, which was $31. I feel like it's not too terribly bad of a buy and it's not too terribly expensive for me more of a be beginner to get in bulk for this price so i feel like it's a very good hopper with all of its detailing and a very good job from bachman doing all of this it's just it might 
stress out your engines if they're all not so free rolling and you get like a rake of like 10 of these. But besides from that, it's a really good model. I would recommend it if you can get this one yourself. I don't know what other paint schemes they come in, but this one looks very nice with all my other Santa Fe engines. So that's kind of mainly why I got this paint scheme. And so that is the rest of this review. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this product. It's been a while since I've done a review and this is the first Bachman actually rolling stock review because a while ago I did like a signal, some like a four pack of signals. But I think that's the end of this video here. I'd like to thank you guys again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.